19-year-old Steve Fishman hitchhiked a ride that would haunt him for decades. The driver, a friendly man with wispy red hair who called himself Red, seemed harmless. But Fishman had unknowingly come face to face with Robert Frederick Carr III, a serial killer who preyed on young hitchhikers. Carr had already committed horrific crimes. Three years earlier, he had raped and strangled two 11-year-old boys and a 16-year-old girl in Miami. At the time he picked up Fishman, Carr was on parole for a rape conviction in Connecticut. Fishman's 15-minute ride ended safely, but he missed several red flags. The passenger door was jammed, requiring him to open it from the outside. Carr casually mentioned his recent prison release, which Fishman, an aspiring journalist, saw as a potential story, rather than a warning sign. Carr's job as a traveling TV repairman and car salesman provided opportunities to target victims across the country. He primarily preyed on underage hitchhikers, committing most of his crimes in the 1970s. His victims included two 11-year-old friends and a 16-year-old girl, all of whom he murdered and buried in different states. Donna, Carr's daughter, has spent her life grappling with her father's dark legacy. She changed her last name and struggled with bullying and social isolation as a child. Now 60 years old, Donna still worries about the impact her father's notoriety could have on her own daughter. Months after their encounter, Fishman interviewed Carr in prison. The killer showed no remorse for his actions. When asked why he spared Fishman, Carr simply shrugged and said he thought Fishman was too big. Decades later, Fishman and Donna collaborated on a podcast titled My Friend, The Serial Killer. Through this project, they aim to understand Carr's crimes from a more mature perspective and provide insight into the lives of those left behind by convicted killers. For Donna, participating in the podcast was a difficult decision, but ultimately a therapeutic experience. It allowed her to confront her past and gain a better understanding of her father. Despite the various mental health diagnoses attributed to Carr, Donna believes he was simply born evil. The process of creating the podcast and sharing her story has been a step towards healing for Donna. After years of suppressing her emotions, she found relief in talking openly about her experiences. Through counseling and confronting her past, Donna continues to work towards peace and understanding in the shadow of her father's horrific legacy.